Okay, here we're about to go down and, and take a look at the Farm All 140 and the building here. Uh, it hasn't been started, I would say, in six months. Uh, I haven't had it out, so hopefully the battery's good on it. Uh, I think I do have a new battery on it, so it should be fine. And uh, let's go check it out. I don't know how much, uh, how much life I have on my camera here, but, uh, but we'll go check it out. And uh, if it dies on me, that's, that's going to be the camera. And sorry about that if it does. Here it is. Um, like I was saying, it's a Farmall 140, all original shape. Uh, it's got really good tires on the back, good tires on the front. It's got the one-point fast hitch. You can see right there where the spear goes in. And uh, that's what that does. Your cultivator still will attach the tractor with fast hitch on. It just, uh, it, it's a little more in the way I feel like, even though you can pin it up under the floorboard. Um, I, I would much rather have one without, without the hitch. And uh, we always use a bigger tractor for plowing and stuff like that anyway. So, um, but you can see it's all original paint. Original charging system, original everything on this tractor. It's never been messed with. It's, it was a one owner um, here locally. And uh, original seat cushions, original steering wheel. And if the original seat cushions survive from the 60s, 70s, all the way up until now without any tears, dry rot, cracks, or anything, it's a good safe bet that, that uh, this was a shed kept tractor and uh, it was real well taken care of. So. But those are the original cushions, and that's all original paint, too, so that's real nice. The reason you see yellow on some of the tractor, it's because International used a yellow primer on these 140s. And a lot of people are confused by that, thinking their industrial tractors have been painted yellow once, but that's not the case at all. Um, they did use a yellow primer on these tractors, and that's what you're seeing. The yellow for the industrial tractors would have been a different shade. It would, be, uh, would have been a more brighter yellow is it's uh federal yellow is what they used on those so but uh but i have the full set of cultivators although not on right now uh i do have the full set of cultivators and uh for the tractor it's got the bumper on the front and uh, it's got good tires and it does have the wheel weights because that comes with the fast hitch uh those are needed when having a when having the fast hitch, in case you're disking or bush hogging or anything, and this tractor actually has a uh, has a step as well, which is an optional thing for these. If you have the cultivators on, it's possible it'll work with them, but you really don't need a step once the cultivators are mounted. You can use those just as easy. So let's see if it'll start. And uh, let me turn on the fuel. Always leave the fuel off uh, when it's sitting. Keep fuel out of the carburetor and everything. And then I'll come over here and. Uh, all you do, make sure it's in neutral. It does have a new battery as of uh, March of this year, so it, uh, it should be fine. And you just turn on the key, make sure your throttle's set about a quarter of the way, and then you push the button. And then she started right up. See, it doesn't smoke, runs nice and smooth. It does have the Zenith carburetor, 12 volt generator, and uh, all this is original, so it's 12 volt and Pacific charge. Just let's rev it on up. And it's just charging well, and uh, you can see the hydraulics here. That's working the back. And this lever right here will be your front hydraulics. And when the front, uh, the, when you use the front hydraulics with the fast hitch, that controls the depth of adjustment. Watch that rod. See? And so what that does, it adjusts the bell for the depth. But uh, let me back it on out of the building here so we can look at it a little better. Notice the transmission's not making any 
bad growling or whining noises so like a lot of them do that have a lot of wear. Uh, this one really makes no, no noise at all. Uh, go ahead and put it in first and pull it up a little bit. All right. But yeah, that uh, that is an all original tractor. And uh, if I'm if I'm mistaken, I think it's a mid '60s, uh, around a '64. Uh, and it's a one owner. See it running, not smoking. I don't know how much gas is in it, so it, it's possible it could die, but, uh, and like I was saying, everything works well on it. It's not beat up. The lights work on it, I think. Let's see here. Lights work well. And they're all original wiring lights, everything there. So yeah, it's a really good tractor, um, runs well, transmission's good and quiet, uh, hydraulics work well, and at idle you can see it has about 60 pounds of oil pressure there, 65, I'm, I'm sorry, 55 to 60, um, so that's, that's good, and uh, it's got the fast hitch, got the cultivators, with front weights and bumper, so it's a uh, it's a real nice 140. So if you'd like to you'd like to talk more about it or come look at it, just shoot me an email. I H Farmall R T R at gmail.com. Thanks.